How's it going everyone? Back here with a quick video. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to change photo resolutions on the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. With the 16 and 16 Pro phones, uh, you have the ability uh, to adjust the photo output resolution uh, with the cameras. So as we all know now, so the 16 Pro actually has gotten a 48 megapixel sensor on the ultra wide as well as a 48 megapixel on the main sensor and then a standard 12 megapixel on the telephoto. Uh, but for both of those 48 megapixel sensors, uh, you can change the output resolution uh, for the camera. So to do that, you want to head over to settings and then go and find camera right here. And then within camera, you want to scroll down and find where uh, the section that says formats. Hit formats right there. And then from within here is basically where you can change all of your photo uh, resolutions effectively. So uh, the first one is camera capture. And this is essentially where you can change your uh, basically photo format. And you can do high efficiency or most compatible. I like to do most compatible because it's it outputs a photo in a JPEG file rather than the high efficiency uh, photo format that Apple has for that. Uh, but that's just that. But in this case, what we want to focus on is the actual resolution. So uh, the first w option of resolution that you can do is under the photo capture section. And it says photo mode. Uh, and when you go into that, you have two options of either 12 megapixel or 24 megapixels. So you can basically choose uh, the output image because of the fact that uh, with these 48 megapixel iPhone camera sensors, uh, they don't by default output a 48 megapixel file. Uh, but what it does instead is it bends down uh, the photo file or the image file uh, to a lower resolution but still retains most of that 48 megapixel uh, image detail uh, essentially to try to save um, storage space and file size so but again in here you can choose these two options if you want a smaller file size you can hit 12 megapixel and each 12 megapixel file or image will come to right around as it says here three megabytes and the 24 output will come to about 4.8. So there's not that much of a difference in terms of file size. And because of that, um, I personally would recommend everyone just select the 24 megapixel file size unless you're really, really low on space on your or storage space on your phone, then you might wanna do this uh, lower resolution. Another way to change the resolution is where it says Pro Raw and Resolution Control. So by default, this toggle is turned off. So you have to go into this menu and turn it on if you want to use it. Uh, but once you've turned it on, you have several different options here under Pro Default. So you can hit this and you have a lot of different options. Uh, you have JPEG Max up to 48 megapixel. And essentially what that does is it's going to capture a JPEG file that is higher than that 24 megapixel resolution that we I showed before. And it essentially gives you a full 48 megapixel file, but in a JPEG format. And then you have Pro Raw 12 megapixel, just essentially to have a raw file, but in a smaller size. And then you have Pro Raw Max, uh, which is the full 48 megapixel raw photo from the sensor. Uh, that is ideal for those that you want to have the raw image data to photo edit in a program or application such as Lightroom uh, to change exposure and contrast and things like that after the fact. Uh, if you're gonna do that, that is the uh, option you're gonna want to select. And then you have ProRAW format. So you have three options. You have JPEG lossless, which is the most compatible as it says, obviously. And then we have JPEG XL lossless and JPEG XL lossy. So that's basically it for the photo resolutions and how to change them uh, within the iPhone 16 on iOS 18. So 
I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions or need help in the process of doing this, drop a comment below and I'll try to help you out the best as I can. Also, smash that like button, greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button as well, that is also much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one.